Hello everyone. Today in this post, we would like to discuss velocity of the projectile after a specific time. We know we have projected initially with a velocity u. It is going to take a path of parabola. We have proved it. Velocity can be resolved into components ux along x-axis, initial velocity, uy along y-axis. We know that ux is nothing but equal to because it is a horizontal component u cos theta dy is nothing but equal to u sin theta now i want to calculate after some time after some time t what is its velocity is what is the value of vx what's the value of vy i want to calculate so let me start with x axis say along x axis I want to calculate final velocity I will use a basic equation of motion u plus at vy uy we know there is no acceleration acting along x axis only acceleration is gravity that is acting along y axis therefore vy is nothing but uy uy is nothing but u cos theta it tells you that velocity of a projectile along x axis always remains constant that's not going to change anywhere it's always going to remain constant means what at the maximum height like we have discussed earlier vertical component of the velocity is zero so it has only one component of velocity that's nothing but equal to u cos theta it's along parallel to x axis now let us talk about along y axis I will use the same formula. Final velocity is initial velocity plus at. Vy is uy. A is minus g and at. Uy is nothing but u sin theta minus at. So, I know the velocity along y axis also. So, if I want to calculate velocity at any instant, say v bar, I will simply say vxi cap and vyj cap vx is u cos theta i cap vy is u sin theta minus gt j cap so at any instant i want to show where is the velocity of a particle any instant if you have taken here the tangent will be the velocity in the direction this will be the horizontal component of that velocity this will be the vertical component of that velocity in this way we can identify the velocity of a projectile just to remind you i have proved that its path of a projectile is parabola y is x minus bx square time of flight is nothing but the time taken for the journey I have derived in the previous post, you can refer it to u sin theta by g. Maximum horizontal distance travelled by the body is u square sin 2 theta by g. Maximum vertical distance travelled by the body, h maximum, as u square sin square theta by 2 g. And now I have calculated the velocity of a projectile at a certain time as u cos theta into i cap plus u sin theta minus gt j cap having both x and y components right we will continue this discussion further thank you